Hello friends, I'm Miss D and I'm back again with five awesome books for kindergartners. The first book I have for you is about a mouse and this book is called I Am a Tiger by Carl Newson. Now this book is about a mouse and this mouse is so convinced that he is a tiger. He doesn't care what anyone says. It doesn't matter that he doesn't have stripes or that he's not big or that he ha doesn't have the, the loudest roar. He knows that he is a tiger and he actually convinces all the other uh, animals um, that he's a tiger as well, but they're not too sure. Then suddenly one day, the actual tiger shows up. What do you think Mouse does? Well, to find out, you should read I Am a Tiger by Carl Newson. So the next book I have for you is about a girl who doesn't believe she's a mouse. This book is called I'm Not a Mouse by Virginia Golubeva. Now, this is Olivia. And Olivia does not like her pet name. Her pet name is a nickname that her mom gives her. And her nickname is Mouse. And Olivia hates her nickname because it makes her, every time her mom calls her Mouse, she feels very small and she doesn't feel like herself. So one day, She's had enough. Her mom keeps calling her mouse over and over again. So Olivia decides not to answer to the name. And that's when she finally tells her mom, I don't like being called mouse. I like being called by my actual name. But soon Olivia finds out that she's not the only kid with a nickname, that all the kids around her have nicknames. So if you have a nickname and you're not too fond of it, or maybe you do like your nickname, I suggest you read I'm Not a Mouse by Evgenia Golubeva. So this next book is actually a biography and it has amazing vocabulary words in it that all of you can learn. This book is called Respect. Aretha Franklin, The Queen of Soul by Carol Boston Weatherford. Now, many of you may not know because you're very young, but Aretha Franklin was a very, very popular soul singer back in her day. And she's made amazing hits in her times, hit songs in her times. And this book is basically a brief biography about her life as a little kid growing up in the South and becoming what we now know as the Queen of Soul today. This book is a rhyming book, so it's great for any of you guys who like to um, say rhymes, and it has amazing vocabulary words which help you spell out the words as well. So if you want to learn more about Aretha Franklin, you should read Respect, Aretha Franklin, the Queen of Soul. So I have two more books for you. This next book is about a grandparent, which many of you have. So this book is called Grandpa Grumps by Katrina Moore. Now, this little girl is about to meet her grandfather for the first time. He's traveling all the way from China and she's super excited. She has a list of plans for them to do together, such as drawing together and playing games together and even having tea parties. But when grandpa arrives from China, she finds out that he's not the happiest grand grandpa. He's actually kind of grumpy, which is why he's grandpa grumps. And she makes it her mission to cheer grandpa up before he has to leave. And she finds out it's not as easy as it seems. But one day, something unexpected happens and her and her grandpa end up bonding and they end up having the best time ever. 
If you want to learn more about this little girl's story with her meeting her grandpa for the first time, you should read Grandpa Grumps. And the last story I have for you is about a little crab who's afraid, just like many of us can be sometimes. This book is called Don't Worry Little Crab by Chris Houghton. And this story is about Little Crab and his father, Very Big Crab. Now, Little Crab and Very Big Crab live in a small tide pool near the ocean. And one day they're going out to the ocean for the first time. It's Little Crab's first experience in the ocean. And as they climb higher and higher to the mountains, Little Crab becomes scared and suddenly a big wave hits. And Little Crab doesn't like that. But Very Big Crab tells him not to worry that he's there by his side. And then another wave hits that's even bigger. And Little Crab starts to think that he doesn't like the ocean so much. But Very Big Crab convinces Little Crab to go into the ocean and they slowly creep closer and closer to the ocean and more and more waves hit but soon when very crib, big crab and little crab actually get inside the ocean little crab discovers all the magical and wonderful things that live in the ocean so if you want to learn more about little crab's story you should read don't worry little crab by chris houghton Well, thank you for tuning in again for my five awesome books for kindergartners. I hope to see you next time. Bye.